the implicit rules at the dining table in Thailand. In Western countries, the person with the highest status sits at the head of the table, while in the land of the Golden Temples, this position is in the middle. Most local people will overlook it if you make a mistake at the dining table, because they understand that you may not be familiar with their customs. However, adhering to the proper dining etiquette will certainly make you shine and create a positive impression. Do not be the first person to sit at the table. In the West, the most important person sits at the head of the table. In the land of the Golden Temples, it is the position in the middle of the table. Therefore, if you are unsure where to sit, it is best to wait for everyone else to sit down and have someone indicate a seat for you. This helps you avoid any awkward moments at the dining table. If you are dining on the floor, try to avoid showing your feet while eating, as it is considered impolite. If you are seated at a crowded table, you are not obligated to engage in conversation with everyone. You can quietly enjoy your meal, as if you were sitting at a separate table. Wait for the oldest or highest ranking person to start eating. This tradition is similar to many Asian countries, where the oldest person at the table begins eating, and others follow suit. Always take food from the edge of the shared dish or plate. When dining with friends at a restaurant, it is customary to order multiple dishes for everyone to share. Each dish is served on a large plate or bowl, and people take food from there and place it into their individual plates. Remember to always take food from the edge of the dish, rather than the center. It is also recommended to use a separate spoon to serve yourself from the shared dishes. Instead of using the spoon you are currently using. In formal settings, older women or those of higher status often select the dishes. Therefore, if you have a preference for a particular dish, you can quietly express it to them. Be cautious with new dishes. Thai cuisine is famous worldwide for its diversity and deliciousness. However, not all dishes are easy to eat, such as extremely spicy or raw dishes. Instead of feeling obligated to try a dish when invited by a Thai person, you can politely decline. Refusing is considered more comfortable and polite than wasting the food. Another principle is to try to finish the food on your plate or bowl. Chopsticks are not the traditional eating utensils in Thailand. Instead, Thais use a spoon and fork. They hold the spoon in their right hand and the fork in their left hand. Since the food is usually prepared in bite-sized pieces, there's no need to use a knife. The fork is used to push food onto the spoon, which is then brought to the mouth. Fruits are one of the rare exceptions where you can use a fork to skewer them and eat them directly. Take time to savor the food.
Thai people enjoy taking their time to savor their food. They often eat slowly, especially during dinner, as it is a time for gathering and socializing with family and friends. Therefore, it's best not to rush and quickly finish your meal. When you're done eating, place your spoon and fork on top of your plate to signal that you have finished. Paying the bill and tipping. The host usually pays the bill. In certain situations, the most senior or highest ranking person at the table may be expected to pay. Of course, you can offer to split the bill, but it's best not to insist if your offer is declined. In groups of friends, everyone can contribute to the bill. Tipping is not mandatory in Thailand. Tipping for street food vendors is usually rare, but you can let the seller keep the change if it's not much. If you tip in restaurants, it's best to do it discreetly, where few people can see, as it is considered more polite. 